So apparently Kathy Griffin decided to come after Kevin Hart, which I think is a dumb move on several levels, but we're gonna go ahead and go into it anyway. I know a lot of times when it comes to the way comedians handle things, people will hit me up about that one. I'm gonna be honest and tell you, nobody hit me up on this one. I just saw it online and I was like, that's something I wanna talk about. Kathy Griffin was talking to USA Today. She said, I do feel like this is such an anxiety-written time for everyone that there is a thirst for all kinds of comedy. And look, if you want to not hear about Trump at all, go see Kevin Hart. He doesn't even mention Trump. I personally think that's a pussy move because he's a black man, but I guess he's selling more tickets than I ever will. That's where you should have stopped yourself. That's where you should have just, like, in your head, you should have been like, he sells more tickets than I ever will. He's got a formula that works that I haven't figured out yet. And that's where you should have left it alone. Because here's the deal with Kathy Griffin's bald-headed ass. She just got allowed to perform back in the country maybe a month ago, two months ago. But the thing was, back when that happened, she didn't even handle that like a brave person. Back when she took that picture, which I didn't care about that picture either way. I know some people were like, it's disgusting. People lost their shit for no good reason. I mean, like, it was a stupid picture with a mannequin head and she was, eh, whatever. I mean, like, it was dumb. I do agree it was dumb, but the level that people reacted to it was ridiculous to me. And then she started getting canceled on shit and she made it seem like this big woe is me. But the truth is, any comedian knows or anybody close to comedy knows that she could have just took the fact that the theaters have canceled her and gone back to comedy clubs. But she didn't want to take the pay cut. And because you don't want to take the pay cut doesn't mean all of a sudden that's a cause I want to get behind. You said something stupid, well did something stupid. People turned on you, which I mean like, I'll tell you how stupid it was. Her audience is predominantly gay, which hates Donald Trump. Her picture was so stupid that her own audience turned on her and was like, we gotta take a minute, Kathy. You gotta give us a minute here. We may not like him, but we ain't decapitating him anytime soon. So when you just got allowed to perform back in this country, and then you're dealing with somebody like Kevin Hart, who has made millions and millions of dollars in the last couple of years alone. Why would he want to break a streak just to go on a white woman's crusade? Because people of color will tell you, even though everybody will try to act like everything's so equal, really, the truth is that there is a different consequence for people of color than there is for a white woman. A white woman shows Trump's head, like, you know, uh, the picture that she did, and it takes her a year to get back into the good graces of the country. Kevin Carter had done that as a black man. You would never hear from his ass again. You'll be lucky if he ends up back on the Chitlin circuit. It's just the way that it works. People get mad about that, and they act like that doesn't exist, but it does exist, which I said I'm not going to go too much into that, and I'm not going to go in too much into that, but it is a thing. Here's the other Thing that got him in her. Kathy Griffin did her stupid picture and then immediately after she started dry snitching on everybody. Suddenly she was like, uh, Andy Cohen offered me coke. Anderson Cooper doesn't love his mama. Bitch, shut up. Stop snitching on everybody. You did something stupid. Then she had that lawyer, Lisa Bloom, and they tried to turn it into a women's issue, which it was like, it wasn't a women's issue. It wasn't that you as a woman were getting it worse than anybody else. You just did something really stupid. That's all it was. Then her and Lisa Bloom got into it, and it was very public, and it was on Twitter. So I'm just feeling like she's a little imbalanced right now, and I don't know what that's about. I'm not going to speculate, because I don't know her life like that. But Kathy Griffin is just seeming dumb to me or like maybe she's I don't know she's just not getting it like she needs to work that out and uh, when it comes to Kevin Hart he responded his people responded or people close to him and they just said that um, Kathy Griffin is the furthest thing from his mind which it should be uh, and that you know he doesn't want to talk about Donald Trump because he feels like people are tired of that banter and it's true a lot of people are like I notice when I do a vlog or a political post people don't really care about that anymore it's like people are where they are with it they have their opinions on it and they really unless you're saying something that's really funny people don't want to hear it and I don't think it's fair to go after Kevin Hart and say that he is a pussy move for him not to talk about Donald Trump because he's never been big into talking about politics anyway. That's not what Kevin Hart does. Kevin Hart talks about family. Kevin Hart talks about being a little man. Kevin Hart talks about silly stuff, you know? And it's like, 
I think that when people go after comics like Kevin Hart for not talking about hard-hitting issues, it's like, no, there's people that talk about hard-hitting issues. That's what those people do. There's edgy comics, and that's great. But sometimes there's an audience that just wants to go and have a good time and see a comic be silly and talk about silly stuff. Now, Kathy Griffin used to just be celebrity gossip, so I don't know when she all of a sudden became this beacon of political hope, which she's not. I don't know anybody that's still looking to her for that. It's like she still didn't become that hero. Even in all of this, she didn't become that person where everybody's like, you know, Kathy Griffin speaks for the people. No, you speak as a fag hag. That's what you are. You're a fag hag. There's nothing wrong with being a fag hag. I'm not putting fag hags down. I've known some good fag hags in my time. And you're not even really a fag hag anymore because your main fags left you. Like you were the fag hag to Anderson Cooper. That was your main fag. And now that bitch left you, uh, put out a statement and said that he thought you were appalling. You were appalling. So I don't know. Take your appalling ass somewhere, but stop giving bad advice to successful people. Sorry, Kathy Griffin. You just ain't that bitch. Hate to break it to you, but you ain't that bitch. Anyway, you guys, uh, leave me your comments below. Let me know how you feel. Have a good Friday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.